sorry, good afternoon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to introduce Michizi Nishigawa, who is going to talk about personal project like virus in can change your work and life. Michizi Nishigawa has worked in website media capital his and personal blog podcast with his wife and family. And he has for he has for showing you what he has done and how he got and it's hard for him. Please join me to welcome him. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Um, hello. So, gosh. Okay, so um, my name is Shinichi Nishikawa. Uh, people call me Shin. Uh, call me Shin, please. And today I'm talking, I'm going to talk about a personal project. Uh, run by WordPress. I've done a lot, and uh, they uh, yeah changed my life. So I'm going to talk about that, and I encourage you to do the same. Yeah. So. So. Uh, so what are they? What are like personal projects? Um, so here is my like a kind of definition. Uh, they are something that are not work. It's not work. You don't get money. You can. You're allowed to do that. But like a, uh, for me, like a personal ones are not work. And they're not just play. And they are playful. And also, uh, it is run by you, like me, and your family, and or your friends uh, who resonate your playfulness and project goal. Uh, yeah. And it can be one time thing, like uh, this event, or like a continuous effort, like you do every month, uh, you continue doing that like forever, uh, to make something new happen. Yeah, those are the projects. Uh, today I'm going to share um, you about my project, and why projects, those projects can uh, drive uh, our lives to go forward. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about them. And before, uh, this is about me. Uh, I really love WordPress. And uh, I live on uh, Oki Island uh, in Japan. It's an island of uh, 150 people and uh, 300 wild boars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. And uh, I used to live in Bangkok for three years until three years ago. Yeah, uh, my family are uh, my wife, three children, and two dogs. Uh, originally from Japan, Tokyo. Uh, yeah, I wrote uh, WordPress books. Uh, and, uh, I run WordPress news media. I'm a podcaster, and I organize WordCamps and uh, uh, meetups. Uh, for example, I led uh, the organizing team of uh, WordCamp Tokyo 2012. And I did that last year on our island. Uh, uh, currently, my job is a uh, uh, director of client services Japan at Humanmail. So, so this is uh, yeah, like uh, the pictures. Um, this is how I, I used to work until three years ago. Yeah, at uh, Ekamai Soho uh, co-working space Haba. Yeah, and yeah, that was. I think five years ago. Uh, this is a uh, uh, WordPress meetup uh, in Bangkok. And this is how I do now. Uh, it's on the island. It's a small island with a uh, few uh, people. So, like, this is this, like, it's this size. Uh, this is the island I live. Can you please uh, switch off the light in, in front? This one? Thank you. Yeah. So my kids, I have one more now. Uh, these are like fish I get from my fishermen friends. So I don't need to go to the supermarket, but um, like they give me fish, but like they give me fish like this. So I need to stop working and cut them before eating them. Yeah. Also, this is a, a co-working space I'm building now. Uh, like, yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, it's in front of my house. It's a old rotten building. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's start um, talking about my 
projects. So uh, the first one is uh, Capital P. Uh, it's a WordPress community news media. I, I do this with uh, uh, two friends. And uh, yeah, they talk about events, news, and uh, a little bit of uh, development stuff. But the idea is, um, so if you, your native language is in English, then you get, you get to see uh, make.wordpress.org or a lot of news going on. But like, if you don't speak English or you can't read or you, you want to avoid them, then uh, you're left out from what's going on really. So you, you suddenly see new features in, your, uh, in WordPress uh, and such. So we, we are aiming to provide more <coughs> news what's going on really. Yeah. So this is one. And uh, we have a Capital P podcast as well. And uh, we have a, a Slack team too. So this is a, basically a copy of a WP Tavern or um, Pod Status uh, projects, uh, if you know them. And uh, I think someone can do the same in Thai language or your local languages. Yeah. So, uh, the benefit of doing this is like you really catch up on news. Like you need to create your news, then you need to read uh, many things, and through doing that, you learn, you learn a lot. Yeah. Anyone interested in like doing this in your language, Thai version? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, next one is Kolog. Uh, Kodomo uh, is child and Log is logging. Uh, this is my first project. This is my first uh, WordPress website. And uh, it's a personal one. It was not my job. Uh, so what it does is uh, this is a multi-site website uh, protected by uh, passwords. So parents come to this website, create blogs and uh, they upload uh, kids' pictures and share that page to uh, grandma, grandpa, your close friends, so that it can be more secure and uh, protected uh, rather than posting them on Facebook uh, or something else. Yeah. So uh, how I started this one. So when I got my first Child, uh, it's a cute little baby girl, and um, I felt like I was losing my daughter like every day because she changes a lot. So next day, like she's a, a little bit different. When I look at a uh, uh, one-week-old picture, like a I, picture I take, took one week ago, one month ago, I, I feel like oh, I'm losing her, uh, and uh, like feeling I like hold her. It changed every day, so I needed to um, log it somewhere and I was doing that on a public uh, blog service in Japan and someone uh, found it and uh, posted on uh, the channel which is in the, yeah, like uh, out of nowhere and my wife didn't like that. So I created one for myself, private blog, blog and then I presented it as an, um, like for a friend who had new babies. And I thought like uh, now I can make it into a SaaS model. Like they just come, they create their own blocks, uh, they do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I still maintain them like uh, keep clicking update WordPress button and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I keep saving people's photos uh, in secret places. Uh, yeah. So and since this was my first project, it took more than one year from when I started to re release it. And uh, through the process, I got to learn like um, how to search plugins first. I didn't know how to code. And then uh, you realize plugins cannot solve everything, so I needed to fix them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so how to customize them and. Uh, yeah, and also multi-site architecture and functions. This is a um, seven years old um, website, so just after WordPress 3.0 when multi-site architecture was built into WordPress 
So uh, not much information about them, um, especially in Japanese. So uh, yeah, I learned a lot. And then I did uh, multiple multi-site uh, projects because I was quite, um, yeah, like I knew more than other people in Japan. Yeah. And also uh, I had a chance to communicate with the uh, uh, community team, uh, people. Uh, I didn't know how to code, so I asked them on the questions on Twitter. So I suddenly come up to um, WordPress community in Japan and I mentioned people. Okay, you must know how to fix this. This is the screen um, screenshot of the error. This is the error message. And they started like uh, answer me. So like they noticed he is doing something and we don't know who he is. Uh, but they said, okay, you need to come to a meetup. And uh, I went to a meetup, and that was the first time I was involved in WordPress community. Yeah. And also, um, after published this um, release of this, uh, a newspaper came to uh, feature this one. Then uh, um, some venture capitals came to me. I didn't get any money, but like, uh, yeah, I learned how like world um, is like moving, how it works. So through this one tiny project, um, I learned a lot of things. I got friends, I joined the community, and uh, yeah, um, so, so many, many things happened. So this is uh, the, the first project I started. Uh, yeah. So these are, um, I'm a podcaster. Uh, who has a podcast program? No one? Um, I'm creating one. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you use WordPress to host the podcast? Oh, no. Uh, you can do that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, who runs a blog in this room? Yeah, like ten. Yeah, like thirty percent people. So it's it's as easy as what you are doing, and uh, it has different effect. So uh, no one comes to your, your podcast through uh, content SEO because they are not texts. Uh, but it's different and it's really interesting. So so this is Ogi Radio, uh, the radio program about the life on the island. So it's me, friends, and my family, kids. So we talk uh, many things. So this is really a good way of recording your thought, uh, like what you're thinking at that point of your life. So after I moved onto this island, uh, we seek for, like, okay, my house is too loud for workplace. What do we do? There is our old house in front of my house. Let's fix it into a new office. Something like that. And me and my wife talk about that, and uh, we publish it. Yeah. And also, um, uh, it's fun to listen to it after many years. And uh, also, uh, it's it attracts people who want to know what the island is all about or um, like they just like get interested and they come to my house like hey I visited an uh, Ogi island and I'm a listener of this podcast can I talk and yeah so this is really interesting uh, this is an old one um, it's not uh, updated anymore but uh, it's it's all about our life and move uh, immigration to Thailand. So, so I came to Thailand as a tourist five, no, seven years ago, and uh, I found a co-working space. And uh, I went there and I saw a lot of people doing the same thing I was doing in Tokyo. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. And I went back to my hotel and told my family, okay, are we going to move here? And uh, they said, yay. Yeah, so then we started um, like recording our stuff, like it's more, uh, how we say, like a recorder, you just switch on, 
then you get an MP3, you install a plugin to your WordPress, and then you upload it and publish and uh, it's done. Yeah. So uh, it's very easy. Uh, this helped me uh, getting understood by supporters. Like uh, instead of okay, we are going to move to Thailand, you say something, you you share your thought, and uh, they listen to it. Then they come to you with uh, advice, or you should be connected to this person, or you should go there. And I have more like information about that. Yeah, so it was really helpful. And also uh, podcasts like them. So you talk a lot, then you need to explain many things to your friends or your wife, or even when you're like talking alone. And that's a really good way of outputting what you're in, what in your mind. Yeah. Who's interested in? <laughs> the, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm going to tweet some plugins and how to set, up, set them up. But the question was how do you do that and where are the MP3 files? Uh, personally, I share it on the same environment. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to maintain them, so I use it on the share hosting account. Yeah, and I upload them. Yeah, blog feed and XML. So, podcasts are like basically a different version of RSS. So yeah, so I install a plugin to generate that feed. Yes. Okay. Next is a road camp. So Ogijima is the island. Ogi Island. So island really looks like this. Uh, this is a view from a, uh, a ferry. Uh, so it doesn't make sense, uh, the ferry is <laughs> really there, <laughs> but like, this is the view. So uh, on an island of 150 people, we had a road camp of uh, 250. And uh, we didn't have hotel, inns, and etc. And it's far from the mainland, so uh, we uh, let people camp on the island. So this is, I think this is, I, I've never had like a, other one camps uh, who did the camps really. And uh, one um, uh, funny problem we had was for the first time attendees of world camps. So we announced we are going to have a world camp, and all local people come to our island, and they're going to have a camp. And we noticed that the first time attendees like those who had a one camp for the first time, they, they thought one camps are always including the real camps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's not about that. Yeah, okay. So here I have um, a few. So we don't have a conference hall or like business buildings. So we did it in a, a school gym. Yeah. And no air conditioner, and it was really hot. So we we bought a lot of fans and uh, bought um, 150 kilograms of uh, ice, and we need to yeah, yeah yeah buy them and such. So I have a video here, and I'm going to share. How do I do this? If I do this like this, oh no.
um, after that event. Yeah. And also, yeah, so you need to do many things by yourself, but like, you need to talk to your friends to accomplish or like to continue something. Yeah. And if you look at the If you look at that picture, uh, there are a lot of the members of uh, the organizers of this board camp. So, um, yeah, like it, if you keep doing it and uh, focus on like communication and what they can do, uh, yeah, it can lead uh, to such a great event. Yeah, that was what. Yeah. Uh, next, don't be zoom up. Uh, this is an online version of uh, Meetup. So, okay, uh, yeah, online version of WordPress Meetup, uh, twice a month, and uh, one is a session, like we say, okay, let's talk about security, let's talk about backup or something, and people come and give sessions and Q&A. Another one is just communication. You have a topic, but no one is giving sessions. And uh, every time we get uh, 50 to 100 attendees, and we run this by uh, with uh, six members, and also of course we have after party. And the good point of this one is uh, uh, you drink, and you don't need to get on a taxi or <laughs> trains <laughs> to go back to your home, right? Because your bed is there, and the problem we have is it lasts like forever. Like if you are uh, at a bar, then someone comes to you and hey, we are closing. You need to go, go home, right? No one says that, okay? So yeah, we usually have this until uh, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is fun, and uh, this connects a lot of people around the, around Japan, and actually Japanese people outside of Japan who wants to learn. Uh, about WordPress in their language, uh, regardless of where they are. So it's not on, like meetups are not only for city people; it's for locals. But like that's sometimes very difficult if you are really far from cities or you don't have any friends around you. Yeah. So I I really recommend you to do this. Like this is really easy. Um, yeah. I'm planning to publish how we run this project. And uh, what you need to do to promote, uh, to organize uh, everything, no fights, and etc. Yeah. yeah, this is an example. Like we publish reports, like what happened, what was discussed, what was taught. Uh, yeah, and also we record them and put it on uh, YouTube and Facebook group. And it has also the uh, live streaming. So we, when we start the event, we live stream this. Yeah, so people can like find us really easy. Yeah, and personally, for me, the next one, uh, world camps and meetups is also a part of my personal project. So uh, I really don't have the time. Anyway, okay. So my life before I met the WordPress. So uh, the problem was. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I used to be an uh, apprentice of a billionaire, like uh, my mentor was a billionaire and I worked for him personally. And I went to a lot of startups and enterprise with him because he was a consultant. And uh, next job was a secretary of a parliament member and I helped them the election campaign. I was also an account manager of a creative agency. But uh, the problem was like I, I felt like I didn't fit in these jobs. Um, I don't know, like I'm, I really did, didn't know like what I wanted at the time. Uh, I just felt like uh, it's not fun. Yeah. And while I was doing account manager at a creative agency, uh, I met, I heard of WordPress for the first time. Uh, it was a, a big project, and we were preparing our proposal uh, using um, Japanese companies' enterprise CMS and e-commerce solution. 
Uh, there came a, a WordPress guy and he took the WordPress project, uh, website project away from us. And uh, because it was, first of all, uh, much cheaper, and also um, uh, it had a lot of um, uh, features in it, more than the enterprise CMS. So that was the first time. And when I left, uh, um, and then I lost my job, this one, when I had my um, first child. And what I did was, okay, I need to um, find a way to earn money by my own skill. And the, the developers who took the job from me, I mean the, the website project, they were like super freedom people, like individuals, and um, yeah, I wanted to be like them. Because once the company falls down, I lose my job. But all the uh, designers, coders in my company, and the ones who use WordPress, they are fine. Like they still can uh, get their jobs somewhere else. Yeah, so it affected me a lot. Yeah, and then I started building the Colo project, uh, learning WordPress and yeah, Photoshop, etc. Myself. So, uh, Robert, um So they drive our thoughts. Like you talk, you need to talk to your friends. And you need to think a lot. Uh, so your thought, relationship, and life. And friends, yeah, maybe you understand now. Okay? You need a lot of friends to run these projects. And uh, uh, I want to talk about a little bit about thought. So asking a lot of whys. If you run a project, if you come up with a, an idea, or maybe an online version of a meetup. Why not? Right? And then you start it. But like, since you are investing your time, uh, you need to question yourself, why am I doing this? Like, what's the purpose? Uh, just fun? It's fine if it's fine. But like, uh, maybe it's sometimes not. And also, um, you need to write something on your website. Right? Then you need to output something. And since no one is doing similar things, you need to like, think about why, why? And also, you talk to your friend, hey, are you going to do this with me? Then you need to explain the value, uh, the possible goals, or how fun it is, uh, what's, your, what's the benefit for them. Yeah. And through doing multiple projects, uh, you are thinking what you are doing, what you're living for. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. So, uh, that's the, the, the reason um, those projects, like small ones, uh, will get you like, getting friends with many people and with your uh, thoughts. So that's my recommendation. And did you notice all of my projects are run by WordPress? See, like uh, the media, podcast, uh, parenting blog service, uh, Zoom app, etc. Like uh, we use. Uh, WordPress all everywhere. So you are very lucky like it. here you have WordPress and you can do anything you want, a lot of plugins and um, yeah I really recommend you to uh, join this journey with me and uh, that's the wrap up. Thank you.